Hey guys, Wild Little Man here. <clears throat> We're doing the Battle Arena. Actually, you know, go back to this team. Now, for this team, a lot of people question for my fourth because I use Gother. Uh, the reason why I use Gother is for his passives, passive and his relic. Increases allies' attack relay stats by 2% match HP by 1%. Each time an ally uses a skill for his relic, uh, increases attack relay stats by 25% for two turns when his ultimate gauge boo is completely filled. We don't really use his ultimate gauge. It's more for the secondary, the, the passive, more than the relic. <clears throat> uh, I do struggle a little bit with this team. Um, not on this phase, but on the second phase. I think I'm going to change the strategy just a little bit. <clears throat> so, on the first turn, you want to kill Mono. Mono. Uh, for the first round against this team. Mono's buffs really do suck if you're against them, so we just take care of our right out of the picture. Now the nice thing is here we did get a nice DN uh, merge, so she will do a little bit of damage. Want to make sure her health stays high. Now, <clears throat> we want to make sure that she is dead. She is the next best damage dealer. And then we'll use <coughs> Deanne. If we kill him now, that'll actually work out really, really well because <coughs> we want, want to make sure he dies. want to try to keep her taunt up if possible as you can see I haven't used any Gother cards here and like I said I'm not using him for anything but his passive <clears throat> I want to increase those stats 10% stats attack stat related stats as you can see help out a lot This team is fairly easy as well. You want to just want to kill the Rimuru first. Then the king, and then the other two don't really matter. So my power strike should break through his shield. And then we just kill him. And I also want to use a DN card because <clears throat> uh, 
you want to make sure she stays full since she is your main tank. So what I'm going to do is, she's full. The only one that's not full is Gother, I believe. Yeah, 54, he's missing 9K. Full, full, full. Fantastic. Um, and see if we can kill a Gother. And that in this stage, in these stages, that's what you need to pay attention to, is HP really. Make sure everybody's full. This is the team I struggle with the most right here. So I'm actually going to change my strategy. Normally what I do is uh, I single target with Escanor once, but I'm actually going to do this because I actually want to try to kill the DN, which I still don't think I'm going to do. Oh, I did. Okay, great. So, <clears throat> we have a shield. King shouldn't take that much damage. And we, <clears throat> and once we take out Brunhild next turn, they're going to go for Gother. He might die. I might have to reset. That was a bad move on my part. I was trying to just kill her first, but I should have I should have gone for Brun. If I'd have gone for Brun, I would have been better off. That was my mistake. We'll just reset, that's all. I usually do go for Brun too, but I decided not to this time. I don't know why. down there the only thing I can think of is the weapons are not equipped no they're equipped hmm don't know why he's so far down but okay yeah I'll go after Brunhild first because <clears throat> if I kill Brun first then the damage will be nothing
Uh, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I don't think the AOE will kill, but this way I can at least proc here. And next turn, worst case scenario, I can AOE and get, get healing back, which is the plan. Wonderful. Resolve the right person. All right. So we heal. AOE, AOE. Lilia should be dead. That way there's no more dissolve. King cards. Okay. So. We do this, this, and this. And of course, all, but that's okay. So, come on, target the king. Just do this. Eskinar should not kill everybody, I'm hoping. Oh, well, I guess he will. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Third team is the hardest team. So I'm going to get rid of Burn Hitler first. That will force <clears throat> that will force the Sigurd to actually have to stat down in order for everything to work, <clears throat> and everybody should stay alive. So. We'll see what happens here. <clears throat> Might not be enough to kill Brun. Oh, just enough. Okay. So now we're in a much better situation than last time. So then we kill her, then the end, then Sigurd. And then hopefully we can finish with an alt. Yeah, see, without the attack buffs, she's not going to do as much damage, not nearly as much. Still did quite a bit, but not as much. All right, so... We're going to do this, and this, and this because we can't kill right now, but we want to be able to kill soon.
target. We're going to hope that that kills Deanne and leaves Sigurd. I'm not sure if it will. It's not going to. <laughs> yeah, that's done. We do have to worry about Gother now, but that's okay. Um, I will work on rushing. Rushing uh, Deanne's alt. Here we're going to go for, I'm not sure if we should go for Philo first or Echidna first. I think I'm going to go for Philo. As long as Gother doesn't die, we're okay. As long as we finish around with Gother, we'll be fine. We do have to finish with Gother, though. Which will might not be as easy as it looks. See those two shields breaking is fine. That's fine. That is completely fine. So right now we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to try <clears throat> to kill Philo right now before she even attacks. If we can kill Philo before she attacks, we're going to be in really, really good shape. And we did not kill, because I can't get an Escar single attack card. But Gother's regening fine. Keep doing this. Hopefully we can kill Philo this time. Yes, Philo is gone. We don't have to worry about the AOEs. Okay, so Ram got her alt. Everybody pretty much got their alt. However, we're gonna do this, this, and this, and hope we kill them all. And we did, wonderful. And now we go to the last stage should be fairly easy as long as you have four so you, that your combat class works use like a team that's this strong should not have a problem here now this one i start off a little bit different I start off this way and the reason for that is I don't want bonds regen on the first turn second or third turn is fine first turn you really don't want it <clears throat> I should be able to kill Arthur turn two which will take his damage down quite a bit and with if we keep getting tier two cards then we'll be we'll be fine <clears throat> I'm actually gonna use two king cards here just so I can merge the Escanor card for next turn. All right, so hopefully we just kill Arthur. Right, that's because that's really what we want. So we want the Arthur dead. And we might get everybody killed 
except for um, Reinhardt. Oh, Vaughn barely stayed alive. Okay, so he does have an evade. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is um, attack with Escanor. We're going to use the Escanor card. Escanor AoE, King, and Escanor, and they should all be dead <clears throat> for the first round. And that's how it gets done, guys, for, the, for, for that one. <clears throat> now, for the second turn, for the second team, <clears throat> you get to look, and actually you, get, you can choose who you're fighting first. I just go right down the line. For the second team, I use goddesses. I use my L with attack crit, Tarmio with uh, HP defense, Margaret HP defense, and where is she? There she is, Light Liz with HP defense. Also for the first team, my combat class is high enough so that I could use attack crit on both uh, Escanor and King. If you can't, just keep attack crit on Escanor and um, attack crit on Escanor and um, HP defense on King or HP crit on King, whichever you can use. Okay, Philo's gone. Perfect. No stun. No AoE. Crap to mess you up. Now you want to go for Echidna, and you can deal with the other two. And since I did get my L cards... I normally don't go do this, but since I did get my L cards, go right for her so we can stop the infect. <clears throat> With Goddess Liz, after the third turn is done, you're going to get an HP regen, so that's why I, I save her. I save her uh, cleanse for turn two. And that's what you want to do. You want to save her cleanse. That way you can just hammer down. Oh, I lost his tier two card. That's not fair. Anyways, all right, let's go. We're gonna buff up. We're gonna flood. Actually, buff up, do this, and then flood. You wanna try to keep, um, for the most part, the hardest one you're going to have struggle keeping HP on is Margaret. And that's why you want to do it. You know, make sure you just try keeping her up as high as possible. Did not stun good. All right, so they're both blocked for right now, so you want to kill the Echidna.
All right, so let's see what we're gonna get. Stun her, that's fine. These cards kind of suck. <laughs> Just want to kill him, yep. <clears throat> Alright, so you just want to use many Mario cards if you get them. If you get them, then it's Tarmiel. For whatever reason. And this should kill her. And I will have the most HP that I can. You'll need different gear because with Purgatory Bond, he relies a lot on crit chance. And with the new bond, and he is the new bond is getting a buff, by the way. So um, he's getting a buff after next update. I'm not sure if it's next update for global. I know it's next update for JP. But what you want to do is you want to um, you want to set him up. Uh, with attack crit will be his best set. The the only like I said the only problem is is Net Marvel is buffing him because he's so bad. Like I pulled one copy, I stopped. Actually, after I'm done this, I'm gonna pull like four cop. I'm gonna pull. I got like four pulls. I'm gonna pull on him <clears throat> just to show you guys. But he is really, really really bad and they're gonna buff him uh, they did the same thing with Margaret Lewis the, the Margaret Lewis seal I'm using she was the worst unit and then they had to upgrade because it was so bad all right so they didn't do this so we're gonna do I'm gonna do this this and this then try to kill Sario <clears throat> yeah so it's it's really hard to say. Like right now, attack crit. If you're doing, if you want to do damage for him, is the best. But the question is, is how much damage can you do with him? Because he struggles. Like you have to have the perfect setup and everything that goes along with it. It's just. It's really, really bad. Like, really, really bad. So yeah, if, like, for my H, for my bond, it's uh, I have HP crit for my purgatory. And I have a lot of crit chance instead of attack, but for the new bond, you want um, you want attack crit with attack rolls because he's gonna guaranteed crit after after you set him up. But that's another issue with him too is he just needs so much setup. It's you know to make him to make him work like if you're watching the Gato's videos it's it's a lot of work he you know to set him up properly and and get everything done it's just a pain in the ass it really is
I was expecting the infect to come first. Here's the infect. You know what? Uh, we'll do it this way, and the reason we're going to do it that way is because <coughs> I want Margaret to life steal. should be dead as well. I could have just killed her. Okay, I got a time real card. That's good. Yeah, I've like I said, I've pulled one copy. I bought the cosmetics, but I I have not used the new bond at all yet, and I I really wasn't planning to because he's he's just that bad right now. I'm anxious to see what they're gonna do afterward, but. Now the thing is, for if I was doing this with the new bond, and I had a good enough team to do it, I might possibly um, I might possibly put uh, HP defense on them if I needed the CC, but I wouldn't do it for. Oof. Need to get rid of her. <laughs> the rock, she's going to be the only one left. Obviously, going to go after the Margaret. So we'll attack with Margaret first for the life steal, and then kill. Yeah, like on a scale of. One to ten, as far as festivals go, he's like a three right now because he just he needs so much setup. And like I didn't pull him on the first rotation, and on top of that, I had to. Um, I had to go, I'm into like almost 300, I think, right already for the second rotation. And I actually haven't even pulled an SSR on the second rotation yet. That's how bad it's been for me. So I'm not sure how it's been for other people, but I've been strongly struggling. Alright, 
much, and we need to kill her this time around. This stage is all done too. <clears throat> I believe this is the last stage as well. So we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. And that's stage two, guys. Stage three. <clears throat> Obviously, you saw the team at the beginning of the video. Now, for this team, it's a really, really good team. There's two ways you can do it. If you have enough combat class, attack crit, obviously, on melee. If not, stick with uh, HP defense. <clears throat> Everybody else has HP defense except for Chandler. Chandler have HP lifesteal. If you have the ability to have the combat class to use HP lifesteal on Esterosa, and actually, Zeldris would probably be the main one. <clears throat> more so than Esterosa because Esterosa does have 25% so if you do have his uh, the way his attack setup is if you do um, use this card with proper setup you'll fully lifesteal him all the way back as well the only one you have to worry about is Zeldris oops Alright, first we stop Zeldris from using that. I want to kill their Chandler first. And the reason why we're killing their Chandler first <clears throat> is because he has AoE Pierce. With all the attack buffs and whatnot, he's going to attack twice anyway, so you'll get rid of him. And then you can work on the Esterosa. As you see, Chandler got hit pretty hard there. <clears throat> so we're going to lifesteal. We're going to AoE, and we're going to taunt. And this should kill the Esterosa. Now it should kill everybody. Now, even though their HP is lower like that, as you can see, it's still not going to be that bad. You want to stop Philo first from doing a lot of damage <clears throat> the philo is the first one I, t I try to kill and then I go for the Ekana next and the reason for that is weak point does hurt a lot and so does um,
in fact. All right. So, in fact, AOE, and then whoever's next, we're going <clears> to. <throat> this should kill the Philo. And then hopefully it goes for Echina. So there's no more infect there. That's all we need to do. Now we need to work on getting Zeldris and All right, so I'm gonna use Melee and kill Akina. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do this for Max. That should <clears throat> get Zeldris uh, and Esterosa's HP up. Zeldris maybe not so much, but Esterosa should go way up because of the damage he's gonna do here. No, not as much as I thought it would. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to debuff him to give him the... Um, give him encroachment. We're gonna attack her with Zeldris for lifesteal. This should get him pretty close to full. The wrench 11K with 112 lifesteal. And that's what I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure that they're as, as high as I can possibly get them. Zeldris, that's okay. And one, two, three, and that's over. Yeah, Zeldris is the one I'm going to have the hardest time with as far as um, HP is concerned. Like, I should make him an HP lifesteal set, but it's neither here nor there. All right, and the first person we want to go for is... This young lady right here, Miss Mano. We do we do this to stop her from cleansing, and then we attack with Melly. So she will be done next round, which is great. <clears throat> And she does have weak point as well, which is why you want to make sure she's disabled. So she's going to die next turn. Guaranteed. And then we do this. Okay, so that's how that works. If your melee is strong enough, that will happen. Again, as you see, my I have to watch out for Zeldris. I have to watch out for the Zeldris and the... Uh, Esterosa's HP. <clears throat> 
Now what we do because she attacks first, right? And she is the main damage dealer. We go like this. We go like this, and then we go like this. <clears throat> that way her damage is very, very minimal. And then once Gan is dead, we can plow right through them. That's what we wanted right there. Wanted to get her low. She'll be done next turn. We AoE with Zeldris. We AoE with Melly. And then we do this with Chandler to whoever is left. Because there should be two dead here. Yep. And then hopefully it's against Sigurd or Brun. Brun, that way there's no weak point. That'll work. Now we can work on getting their HP back. Please attack Melly. Please. <laughs> um, all right. So we'll do this with Zeldris. She will be encroached. We kill. And then we do this to Sigurd. That's a bunch of lifesteal right there. And then we just stop Sigurd from doing anything. Hopefully we get some Zeldris cards. So as you see, it's just Zeldris and Melly. And I got one Zeldris card. All right, so I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is this, this for the most life steal, and then we'll just kill a melee. Yeah, this will this will make this do a lot more damage, which is what we want, anyways. Yeah, seventy-eight thousand, and then how much life steal? Twenty-two. Great, perfect. That's where that's right about where we want to be, right there, guys. And we're on the last team. So this is easy. All we want to do is prevent Rimuru We want to prevent Rimuru from using Infect, and that is it. Once that happens, <clears throat> we should have no problems killing everybody else. Right? He actually should go down right here. If he attacks twice, he will die. He'll die anyways because of uh, Melly, but so all we're gonna do is break the shield, infect, and here. This should kill Rimuru. The king is gone. Chandler taunts. The next two attacks, they're dead. Oh, she almost died. Okay, so did any of the, oh, no, they didn't, never mind. So uh, I guess we'll just do Esterosa for the win. And 
and that's that's it guys that's how you make sure that you know you got to plan your strategies right for this so make sure when you collect your stuff you go right to the season shop and guess what you're getting all of these that's it it's all you can get because you need I believe they're gonna give you 40 so you need 60 so literally if you're doing champion one for four weeks that will get you it that's all you can get now <clears throat> as a bonus guys so I'm gonna do oh I didn't quite get there yet but I'll get there now so <clears throat> I haven't put in the last six pulls I have not gotten SSR on this banner it's horrible these rates suck for Vaughn obviously And we got more coverage. Yeah, like I said, I haven't pulled the bond yet, and I'm probably not going to, which is why I'm not going to spend a lot of money on this banner, if any, because that Marvel just hates my guts. <clears throat> Even with the enormous amount I spend, it still hates my guts. So, yep, zero SSRs. This will be my 10th pull. Or, I'm sorry, one SSR. I just got Tarmiel. Two SSRs. No bonds. No bonds. Not allowed to have a bond. Which, yeah, I, I can't afford to do six rotations. It's, it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, starting my second rotation, and it's just horrible. But anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understand how to work on the teams. If not, you can always leave a message in chat, and I'll be more than happy to, to give advice or help to... Make sure that you can get where you need, want to go game-wise if you want to do the event. And if you want to be able to do the event and you're struggling, just send me a message and let me know. And I will try to help you as much as I can. All right, guys. That's the end of the video. Have fun. We'll talk to you later.